Hello everyone, this is John and Josh with a Type Group and we are back with another market update for the month of September in Queens. So how is the market you ask? We're bringing you the most current data from Wonky MLS to show you what exactly is going on in the housing market. Well, let's get into it. So in September, there was a total of 5,848 listings on the market which is about a 6% decrease from last year. The average list price for single family and multifamilies were averaging out at $900,000, which is about 13% increase from last year. Homes sold on an average of $886,000, which is an increase of about 17% from a year ago. For condos and co-ops, the average list price was about $375,000. That's 9% more from just a year ago. Condos and co-ops sold on an average of $354,000, it's about 7% more from just a year ago. So guys, as expected, for both residential, multifamily, and candles and co-ops, both list price and sales price, we see an increase from just a year ago. And interestingly enough, residential multifamily has increased more, almost double than candles and co-ops. Something to think about. So guys, let's get into the inventory. In the month of September, there were 1,565 new listings that hit the market. That is about 12% drop from the same time last year. So no surprise here as we've been talking to you guys about supply and demand in our previous update. So there were about 1,000 homes that went under contract, which is about 4% decrease from last year. Lastly, there were 873 closings, which is about 81% higher than last year. So what does this tell us, guys? There are slightly fewer homes actually coming into the market and they are selling at a way higher price than just from a year ago. About 74% of homes sold below an asking price. So on average, these homes, they were on the market only 77 days. That's 16 days less than from just a year ago. So to conclude, we believe we're still in a relatively balanced market. Homes are still selling at a quick pace and home prices are still rising. Mortgage rates remain close to all-time lows. They dropped below 3% for the last week. A 30-year fixed mortgage rate averaged at a 2.99%. A 15-year fixed mortgage rate dropped to about two and a quarter. So meanwhile, more and more buyers are getting frustrated as the housing market is becoming, in the city, is becoming really unaffordable. And this kind of explains why many of them are actually flocking to the small to, to mid-sized neighborhoods, you know, upstate, such as Rochester in one of the hottest markets in New York State. So this was the look at a Queens Market Update for the month of September. We hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to get more information about Queens, maybe Brooklyn, Bronx, or even Long Island, let us know. If you are curious about buying or selling, let's connect.